Hey guys, it's Razor Reels 2 and I am here with an Airsoft unboxing video as uh, requested from Blastcat. So basically I got my gun and I got my gear in and uh, I guess I'm just going to open it up and uh, show you guys. So uh, it'll be split into two parts of the video. I got the gun first because obviously everyone wants to see the gun and uh, I got the gear coming as well afterwards. Uh, yeah, the times will be up on screen somewhere and uh, you guys can skip to whatever you want this is my first time ever buying airsoft stuff so um, take this uh, as different recommendations if you want to and we'll go from there so let's open up the gun shall we I bought this gun from Bing shop in Edwardsville Illinois don't bother trying to find me there I don't live there <laughs> So, this is a M4 ST6, also JP62, uh, forever, anyone who's looking up this stuff, I'll repeat that again, M4 ST6, JP62, so, M4, uh, if I can get out of the foam here, um, awesome type of gun, let me get it in the camera shot there. It's got an adjustable stock. Um, yeah, it's got front rails, batteries in the back. Magazines obviously go where the magazines go. Um, it's got a pretty cool, let me adjust it, iron sights and a flip open thing there to repair. Oh, yeah. Iron sights, yes. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, let me move the box. I'll set this off to the side. Alright, so what it comes with, it comes with a high cap magazine. Um, as I brought my trusty scissors to help me with opening stuff. Boom. High cap magazine. Comes with open, whatever, and wind up. So we'll, we'll just stick that in the gun for now. There we go. All right. Um, it also comes with these. I'll just take this all the way out. I don't need that piece of plastic. Um, these side rails, they can. Uh, you know what? I'll just open it up. Actually, it doesn't need to be. Haha! It's got a zipper. 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 Whatever. Whatever you call these things. Ziploc. Haha! Don't need that plastic bag either. All right. And these things basically just. If you don't like the. Uh, what do you call them? The rails on your gun, you can just attach them and put that type of attachment on it. So, pretty cool. I don't think I'm going to use them. I have a foregrip and I, I kind of like the rails, the, the, how they feel. So, yeah. Uh, let's see, we got a little something. Uh, I Tell me what you, that is if you know. I have zero clue. Um, we also got a foregrip. Yes, the gun comes with a foregrip. Most guns in any shop do not come with foregrip. So that's kind of cool. And it's one that actually fits my whole entire hand. So it's not a stubby grip or anything. It fits my whole hand. Um, and why don't we attach that to the front of the gun? It's basically got a windy thing here on the bottom. And we're going to have to adjust it later to figure out where I want to put it. But yeah, we'll go ahead and put it here for now. Tighten that up, super tight, and basically allows me to hold the gun a lot easier. Uh, I don't know which way the camera is going to face during the video, so we'll just go with that. Looks pretty cool, I like it. It's got, uh, yeah, like most guns, if I can point this out here, it's got safety, um, semi, and auto. Adjust it however you want. So, put that down, and what else does it come with? It comes with, I mean, just over here to the side, charger. I actually bought a smart charger because these things are pieces of junk. I highly suggest getting a smart charger, and I'll prove it to you in just a bit. But uh, it does come with that. Um, batteries. I believe these are butterfly because they will have two sides, and then they go in the stock I'll do that in a second 
Uh, I'm actually going to open up my smart charger next and charge these bad boys and then I'll fire the gun off for a bit few, not rounds, but blank shots and see how that sounds. The gun finally comes with a unjamming rod. And this you basically, if I can pull off the front here. Yeah, that's how the nozzle looks. Uh, just stick it down the front of your gun here and it'll unjam any BBs. Obviously you're gonna have to remove the mag and go from there. But cool little device to have. And uh, that's pretty much everything that comes in the package itself. Um, security warning card. Eh, don't really care. I'll look at it later. Um, so, cool. It's all the stuff that comes with the gun. And we're just going to throw the box off here to the side. And things are falling all over the floor. Right. Next. All right. So, I'm back. And so basically this is all the stuff that the gun comes with. Oops. As I put things in the wrong spot. Um, so here's what comes in the initial package. So obviously you got your charger, battery, everything else. Now, things that you might want to consider about getting once you have your gun. Um, so they give you this cap to put over the front. Thing's a piece of junk. When you fire your gun, the BB's actually going to go through it. They call this a safety thing. Piece of junk. Throw it in the trash. Don't need it. Instead, you want to buy... I forgot what these are called. Barrel covers. That's what they're called. Um, I got a one that says TAC on it. Yes. Don't know what that stands for. But we'll assume it's something fancy, right? And, uh, yeah. So basically, let me just cut it open here. And throw away all the advertisements and price tags and all that stuff. Yes. All right, barrel cover looks similar to this, or they should all pretty much look like this. Let me make sure I'm staying in the camera here because obviously I seem to have an issue with that as I'm moving things closer to me. All right, now that's all unwound here. So before that you start the game or any time when you're not shooting the gun, you should have this barrel cover on. And let me see here. Is that a good? Yeah, we'll extend this out just a slight bit more. So basically, got my gun here. Just gonna put the barrel cover on the front and slide it to here. Barrel cover's on, safety on. No BBs are gonna come out, nobody's gonna get hurt. But obviously for this video, I don't want this on because who wants to look at that? We wanna look at the fancies, right? So those are the items. And then we, uh, I bought a mid cap to go with the gun. There's no winding and uh, there's nothing at the top so you have to use a speed loader or use your fingers to get the ammo. Same thing as the high cap but it holds less ammo. And you don't have to wind it which is kind of why I bought it. And I'm the realistic type of guy. Next we got the smart charger. Right, whichever direction you want to put it. I don't know what I'm doing uh, with the direction of the camera. So smart charger. Why should you get a smart charger over don't need that box. Um, over a normal charger. Smart charger, normal charger. So the smart charger actually has this light here. Here, yes, there we go, on camera. Um, that'll flick orange when the battery's not charged or is charging, and green when it's fully charged. It also uh, stops charging the battery when it is fully charged. So that's awesome. That means you can leave it overnight and you won't have any problems. So the guy said that it charges in about 15 minutes, so you're looking pretty good there. Um, whereas this one, you don't know when it's done charging, and they said it could take up to six hours to fully charge the battery. So you don't really want to have this, but keep it on hand in case this for some reason breaks at your game. And if you're charging at your car or something, have this on handy, and it'll help you out. So I'm actually going to pause the video here, and I'm going to go start charging the battery. All right, I am now charging my batteries. Um, you can see the smart charger has a orange light. I will zoom in using the camera's uh, zoom feature. And uh, yeah, so that's how you know it's charging. It'll turn green when it's done. Um, and awesome, I'm gonna charge it up. While it's charging, how do you put the battery in on this gun? Because you know what, I'm gonna show you. 
So you want to bring the adjustable stock, which is kind of why I got the gun. Adjustable stock, which is awesome, and batteries in the back. So we're going to flip it up here. We're going to go to the stock of the gun. Let me just adjust it. And uh, kind of hard to notice, but there's some pins here on the bottom. I'm just going to push them. And this should pop off. Second time ever doing this. Ha ha, professional. Did that make you guys jump there? All right. And out here comes a plug thing. This is where you plug in your battery itself. And the two wings of the battery go in each one of these sockets. And then uh, the guy recommended then pulling this out all the way. That way the wire goes in. And then pulling it back closer. And then you can put the brace on. I'm going to show it again with the actual battery once it's charged. So this is all the stuff, not the scissors, those don't count, you shouldn't buy those, you should already have them. All the stuff that comes with your gun and what you should expect with the gun. Features on the gun, I've already mentioned them, rails at the top, rails in the middle, um, it comes with a, what do you call it, foregrip. Um, iron sights are, I don't know really how to show that on camera, um, but when looking down them, they're awesome. They're also, you can take the iron sights off, just undo, undo them, and uh, if you want have a jammed BB, pull this. Uh, there you go, you can look inside the gun, and then just clip it back up. So it's got safety, full auto, semi, all that stuff. Um, as far as removing the mag, there's a button, if I can, actually, if I can find it, yes, there's a button. Buttons, uh, press button, remove magazine, yeah, love stuff, fancy things. And loaded it in. All right, awesome, I'll be back. So, we're now going to start the gear portion of the unboxing video. This marks the starting of the gear parting part. Oh my gosh. So this starts the uh, gear part of the unboxing video. So I got a few items that ordered from Evike and uh, got them in. Can't wait to show you guys. And just items that I'm going to be using throughout my gameplay. Got me a nice thank you card. Uh, all right, I'll just, yeah. Um, so goggles, you obviously need these to play, right? Of course you do. Don't say no. You're stupid if you say yes. You don't need them, right? I think, uh, yeah, I word that. Don't need the trash, right? So goggles. Let me uh, actually. I'm not gonna test them on. So anti fog. Actually, I don't know whichever way. Anti fog. They got uh, safety glasses. So they're gonna take a beating before you're gonna notice, uh, or not before you notice, but you're not gonna get hurt in your eyes. So that's kind of cool. Um, they got foam on the back, and this just allows for safer, or not safer, um, nicer padding for your nose, your um, your eyes, stuff like that around your eyes. So cool. You got an adjustable strap on the back. I'm actually gonna try these on. So just try them on. They're awesome. No, you cannot see my face with them on. Not yet. Maybe at the end. I'll just take a picture. But I also got a. Speed loader. Yes, speed loader. Let's open this baby up. This is used for the mid cap magazine to push the BBs in at the top a lot faster because there's no opening that you can dump BBs in like in the high cap. Right. How do I open this? Scissors! Those are fun. Let's see if I can tear this open. Now this speed loader was ten dollars. Ten dollars, oh my goodness, but you can buy them for two dollars on Evike. Actually, yeah, I didn't get these from Evike, did I? Whatever. Um, yes, I actually got this from Bing Store. So this is ten dollars, hopefully it lasts a lot longer. In theory, right? In theory, it's always in theory. Don't need that box anymore. Yes, it says it opens up, but it's not opening. Does this need to be open? Oh, it does. All right. There you go. You can stick BBs in there now. 
That only took five minutes. Oh my goodness. Whatever. Part of the video, right? Alright, don't need that anymore. So, nothing else in that box. I got tons of paper. I can burn that later. Whatever. Breaking things, right. Second box. Another thank you notice. <laughs> You're so welcome. Gave you all my money. I want it back. So, you can see the helmet. This is the first item in said box. If I can get... All right. You know what? I'll take the set first item out first. Face mask. Alright. Let's get it out. There's no opening. Scissors, where'd you go? Trusty scissors. Always have those when doing an opening. Right. Scissors does not break plastic. I forgot. Be more precise, Razor. And then... RIP! This is just like Christmas. I love this. Alright. I uh, don't need that. Alright. Face mask. You know what it does? It covers your face. Yes, yeah, so you, you got your nose slot and it covers your ears as well. This is a uh, 6mm Pro Shop, apparently. That's the people who made it. But awesome. Collapses around your face. That feels really weird. But okay, we'll take it anyways, obviously. And helmet. This is all just safety gear. Um, don't need the box anymore. Helmet. It's got, we're going for the Tanton look, Last Cat and I. Um, awesome, and it's got room for the GoPro. Dun 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 dun. Uh, goodbye box. Don't need you. Wow, complex things, right? Stuff is falling out of my helmet. Did they give me extra stuff? Alright, seems like we got a few clips here. Rails and stuff. Um, I don't know if you can see that rail. Probably for flashlights or anything that you want to attach to your helmet. That is awesome. Also got pads. I'm assuming they go on the inside. Where these, uh... Whatever you call these. Velcro things are. Well, that'll be interesting to try on, adjust. Got awesome camo on it. And looking good. Also can put patches on the top. <laughs> that just happened. Alright. Mm, don't want that. I'll be back with one more item. So, I lied. I got more things than one. But this is one of the three things. Three. Three, three things, huh? Huh, two hands. Right, Redhead brand. Ducks and Airsoft don't go together. No, <laughs> I'm joking. These are, let me get that box away, boots. One thing you'll need when starting Airsoft, or really, I suggest into Airsoft, because tennis shoes, just, you know, this is an awkward angle. Um, I'll just get these out. I'll use you later, box. Right. Boots. All right. Wrong direction. Boots serve the purpose of uh, walking through mud and uh, running a lot easier, and they look kind of cool. You gotta admit that. You gotta admit that. Don't look at the tag. Awesome. Actually, these don't have a tag. Aha. Uh -huh. Pretty cool. These have a 5 inch water line from bottom to top, so direction. So I can wade through uh, rivers if need be or any of that type of stuff because that does come in contact, especially um, the last cat and I have played at Bing Field and that has become an issue where the point I had to throw out my tennis shoes after two times going there is because they were so destroyed from mud and water and everything else. So highly suggest getting a pair of waterproof boots that can go several inches up. Once again, these go five inches. 
take it into fact. Awesome. Next item, I have to go grab a case. Why do you need a case? Well, you would think it'd be obvious, right? But if you get pulled over and you have a gun sitting in the back of your car, not the best idea. So, as my dogs go crazy, if you can hear that, it just fits your gun in. And please don't get suspected of you or anything. Better off in the run, long run. Also, walking into different places, it's better to have this than carrying the actual gun itself. This was $25 rounded with tax. So, I least suggest getting one of these. Um, yeah, it, it's basically a case. You, uh, my things are falling over. I need a bigger table. All right. Things. Um, I'm going to set this on the ground. That's too big. And finally, but not least, a package with a bull. I, I brought the bull. Why? Because I'm afraid of things exploding. The most essential thing for Airsoft to actually play. You need BBs. Now, we bought 0.25 gram BBs for the, oh good, the bag's not broken, for what we're using. Um, Alright, don't need that. Uh, so 0.25 gram worked the best with this gun that I currently have. They are B for biodegradable. Yes, always want to use biodegradable the best as possible. Save our environment. I'm not going to go into that. Um, yes, apparently these are really good quality, rated by a lot of people. We'll test them out next time we go airsofting. So, cool. That didn't break, so I guess I don't need the bowl. Yeah. Right. Well, that'll wrap up my uh, video. Got all my gear and gun and everything else that's awesome love it can't wait to go play with it we're going to go to a shooting range soon you guys won't see that but uh hopefully we can get some airsoft videos out with these new guns blaska and i can't wait to show you guys how it looks how it feels and everything else and hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time